Okay, so now since we have seen all the drawing tools, I will tell you what all these are. So in your right hand side, you can see the entity information. Now entity information is just like AutoCAD. It will give you what layer it is in. So in AutoCAD, we have layers. In SketchUp, we have tags. So this is the tags tool. You can just add the layers like similar in AutoCAD or Revit. You have to press add, let's say wall, and you have a layer. If you want to put any object in a particular layer, you have to select the object, go into entity information, click on tags and select it. Now it will be in the walls layer. So if you, let's say, switch it off, it will go away. Just like how we do in AutoCAD, on and off of the layers. Then we have uh, the instructor. This is just like uh, a guide that SketchUp has. So basically, if you say a tool, it will give you information, just a general thing. The next is the outliner. The outliner will come into place once we start making groups. So groups and components are similar to blocks in AutoCAD or in Revit. Everything has to be either a group or a component. And then once we start creating, it will outline it here. The materials tab, the materials tab is basically the material. So it also gets activated by the command B on your keyboard. But since you have the web version, maybe your shortcuts are not working. So don't worry about that. You can go to materials. In materials, a SketchUp has some default materials already like the color, grass, mirror. These are just the basic materials that you can use just to show. If you want to apply a material, you apply, you select. Let's say I want to apply this color. You select the color, you get this paint bucket and you can tap on the surface. So this will apply the material. Then we have scenes. Scenes will come into place once we already have models in place. So where you can set up a scene. So let's say I want to set up a scene for my rendering or for uh, exporting into 2D graphic. I will set my screen to the scene I want. You can also do it through these commands here where you can have the front, right side elevation, back elevation just like in Revit. So once you have selected the scene that you're happy with, you can add your scene here and you have a scene that can be exported to a 2D graphic. Styles, let's not go into styles in detail. This is just, it will, it has different styles basically for your modeling. We will just use a basic default style for, for right now. and then components. So components is basically a group of objects. You can also download. So once you already have a SketchUp version that is either three days uh, trial, or I'll have to see if it works in yours, you have direct access to a 3D warehouse. So a 3D warehouse is a library online. I will just... have a new window. If you go and type into Google 3D Warehouse, you will be directed to this site, which is a SketchUp official 3D Warehouse, where people have modeled and already uh, placed uh, like a library of these models. You can download it from here you want to search for any model so these are actually pre-modeled let's say Sorry, but you are not sharing the screen so i'm not seeing oh uh, oh okay just a second can you see it now yes 
Yeah. So you can go to 3D Warehouse directly on Google and you will be directed to this site. So people have already modeled these for making our lives easier, let's say. So these are acting like blocks. I will just stop sharing and get back. So you will also have your direct access from your file. So let's say since it's already connected to the internet, it will show me what all models are here. I can select and directly bring into my model. This makes us easier because you don't have to model every single small thing. So people have already have uh, a library created just like our AutoCAD blocks. Now I'll tell you what actually components are and what actually groups do. So let's say we have a batten or a rafter. Let's say this is 20 feet. Now I want to copy it multiple times, but I want this geometry to say, stay similar. I will triple click it. It will create. I will select with my right hand key and I'll make it a component. Let's say rafter. Okay. And I will take my move command, hit control, copy it. Now what components does is when you have a lot of similar objects, so let's say I have like 20 of these. Uh, I will select it here times 20. And now I want to edit the height. So if you have made it a component, it will be a, a single uh, entity where you can edit the object and it will edit this all the 20 objects at once. So you don't have to go to each object and then uh, edit each object. So this makes us it very easier when you have similar components in a file or you have a simple model that has a geometry which is multiplied several times in the model. You don't know where you have placed it and you want to edit one, but then again, you will have to go to each model. So making it a component really helps that. So like this, we either your, once you create your model, it is very important that you divide it into components or groups. Now components, as I said, that it is for multiple objects. So you will, so you know that this object is going to appear like say 10 times, 20 times, so multiple times in my model, you will create it as a component. So let's say door handles or a particular door that you have multiplied, a multiple use or multiple doors have the same dimension and you don't want to change every door with the dimension. So this is a very handy tool. The next one is a group. If you want to create a group, you will again uh, select all and make a group, or you can type G on your model and it'll create a group. Group will, as its, as its name says, it'll group the, all the geometries together and make it one group. So you, you don't have to select each face and move. In SketchUp, if you try to, let's say if I want to move this and it's not a group, and you miss selecting anything and you start moving it. So let's say I select this line and I start moving. You can see that it's all attached and it will not move. So making it a group will always help that whenever you select it, it will move the whole geometry. Making groups will also make your model lighter. So like, since you will have multiple geometries, your model starts getting heavy, uh, your file starts getting heavy. So I recommend that anything you make in SketchUp, you group it so that it's easier to move and locate. Now, if you want to edit in the group, you will just have to enter the group by double clicking it and you will enter the group. You can make changes. 
this will help when there are multiple objects that you have and it makes it difficult to edit the object you can also hide the rest of the model so let's say you want you are in this group you don't want to see all this you can just say j on your keyboard and it will hide all the geometries and only keep the active uh active geometry or you can go to camera view component edit and hide rest of the model if you unselect that it will again be back this will help you when you're drawing or editing small objects in a big model we will get to that once we start modeling you will start knowing what actually it is now if you want to add a geometry to this let's say i add a geometry if it's not a group let's say extra now if it's not a group you have added a geometry now you want to move this geometry you won't be able to move it because it's stuck to this object that's why i said that making a group now this is a group and i draw in this make a geometry now this will be a separate geometry now you can move this select this add it and it will not get affect it will not affect your previous geometry so that's why we use groups to define a geometry or define a model these are the main commands that you are going to use groups and components you will define everything in your model either as a group or make it a component so let's say you have a side table you can make it a component because you know that you will be repeating it and you will be editing one side table and you want them to edit all the side tables at once you will be able to do that now if you want now this since this is a component and you start editing in this it will start doing it in all the geometries now let's say you don't want it and only want to edit this this rafter alone what you will do is select press the right key and make it a unique component so now if i go here and i start editing it it won't affect the rest of the components and now this one becomes a separate geometry so this also helps because if you want to edit edit let's say one side table and you don't want it to affect all the side tables in your model you can just make a unique component and start editing so i'll just so that was it for today and i hope you enjoyed it and in the next class we will use uh, all the techniques that we have used today making groups components to actually model a room and i will show you how you can uh, make blocks like doors and windows which you can use in multiple objects you can save your blocks as a different file and also import it in any other file so you don't have to make those same blocks again and again so basic blocks like doors windows we all need them and we will also design our first furniture next week so we will design a bookshelf in which i'll show you how to design a bookshelf with proper measurements multiplying the shelves giving it height and basically a full furniture and then you can place it in the room that we have designed